Hey, you guys, welcome back to my channel. It's your girl, Ebony. All right, you guys, let's talk about Cardi B's former makeup artist dragging her for filth. Not only saying that Cardi B was a bad client, but also going as far as saying that Cardi B was allegedly okay, stepping out on her boyfriend who was in jail at the time. Talk about a mess. Now, this person is allegedly Cardi B's former makeup artist. Now, she had said that she was scheduled to do Cardi's makeup and her friend's makeup. She went on to say this, I don't have an NDA with Cardi, but she was extremely rude. Couldn't even pay $80 for her and her friend's makeup. I watched her throw food across the floor, punch Swift in the gut, get up while I was doing her makeup and lay in the bed and go to sleep. She yelled at me. She asked me to see a picture of my daughter and then asked if my daughter was part Chinese because of her eyes. She was never on time or prepared and her booty, well, it overlapped her leg. Now, hold up. Her booty overlapped her leg? Wow, wow, wow. Allegedly in Trisha Peace opinion. Okay, this is Trisha's opinion, not Black Tea Blog. Black Tea Blog does not condone any bullying, harassment, or violence. Now let's keep it going. She also said this. She was never on time and prepared, right? Or prepared. And she also had her booty overlap her legs. She also had a hickey on her neck when she was talking to her boyfriend on the phone in prison, saying she was loyal. Ah, uh, this feels good to get that out. Now, Trisha, if I'm not mistaken, Let's go all the way back. You're saying Cardi B could not afford to get $80 makeup. So this tells me right here that this was before Cardi B became mainstream. This is more loving hip hop time, right? When Cardi B was still grinding, etc. So the whole $80, couldn't pay $80 is irrelevant because a lot of us, before we become successful, can't afford stuff. On top of that, I know that this is loving hip hop time because you guys remember Cardi B on loving hip hop has said that her nigga was in jail. She has said that on the TV show. So any nigga, if she was you know, messing around with them, knew that she was with somebody else because she told the world. Now let's get into the whole situation with her asking if your daughter was Chinese. That's a little weird. I don't know why she would be asking you if your daughter was Chinese. Also, it's never okay to be rude to people. And you know, I'm just understanding right now, like, why are you saying this now? Like, is this for like a little bit of clout or is this another PR stunt? Like, are y'all just gearing up for, you know, a release? So we're doing a bunch of PR stunts. I'm just curious because this don't make no sense. This came out of nowhere. Chell, where's the album? <laughs> like, yeah, we doing everything. Okay, we doing commercials. Okay, we arguing with people online and we ain't put out no music. Anyways, you guys will let me know what you think about it down below. Let's go on to the next topic, which is none other than the queen of rap, Nicki Minaj. Guess what? Yes, the queen of MF rap is going to be on the Hunger Games soundtrack. Because why? Because she's that B-I-T-C-H. Now, for those of you guys who don't know, Nicki Minaj was actually rumored to be on the Hunger Games soundtrack, but nobody really knew if this was going to be true. Well, a a couple of sources have now confirmed, and this is what they're saying. Nicki Minaj is rumored to be on the soundtrack of The Hunger Games, The Ballad of Songbirds and Snakes. Now, the reason I believe that this is true is we have to go all the way back to Super Freaky Girl, okay? Let's go all the way back to the Super Freaky Girl video. Who was in that video? None other than Hunger Games lead character, Alexander Ludwig. You guys remember, he was her kin in her Super Freaky Girl video. So, I don't find it no surprise that Nicki Minaj also got, you know, a little connection connection to the soundtrack for the Hunger Games. I mean, maybe it could have been a deal. Hey, we'll let Alex be in your Super Freaky Girl video as long as you give us a song for the soundtrack. I think the video um, and the soundtrack is a great exchange and it kind of makes sense. And you know what? Good for Nikki. I'm excited to see what Nikki's coming with. This is different. So what y'all think Nikki gonna bring? Like, I honestly think that Nikki is really about to be in her bag with this type of song because y'all know Nikki is so versatile. She could do anything, but I'm just saying like, I know she gonna be in her bag. This is so out of the box and so amazing. Good for the queen of rap. Congratulations, Nikki. And we will definitely be supporting. All right, you guys, let's go on to the final topic, which is none other than little Kim paying homage to the king of pop, Michael Jackson. Check it out. <laughs> 
Well, isn't Kim on her two feet doing the two step? Let's go, Kim. Look, you guys, one thing Kim has always been able to do is move to the beat. So I thought this was a cute little homage to Michael Jackson. You guys know Kim busted out the moonwalk. Chow, I thought Kim was about to snatch the wig and fly off on a broom. Okay, she was moving, moving. And you know what? Congratulations for her. This is a great little, you know, homage to Michael Jackson. And you guys will let me know what you think about it down below. Don't forget to subscribe to the channel. Give this video a big thumbs up. I love you guys so much and we will talk very soon. And guess what? You matter. Bye.